Call of Duty Infinite Warfare pre-orders are highly inaccurate according to Activision. Now, there has been released this week the pre-orders for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And let's say they're a little bit lower than the ones of Black Ops 3 of last year. Where the total amount of pre-orders for Infinite Warfare so far this year on both the Xbox One and the PS4 total around 63 64,000 pre-orders where if you compare that to black ops 3 of last year for both the ps4 and the xbox one the total pre-orders around the same time came to around 700,000 pre-orders but this is what activision made a brief statement with regards to these pre-orders and this is what they had to say these estimates are highly inaccurate and not at all representative of actual retail data. We've announced that pre-orders have started strong and continue to be very positive and we look forward to sharing new gameplay next week at E3. Now E3 is just a couple of days away and I believe Activision will show off some of the gameplay to Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. But I, I'm looking at the pre-orders a bit differently from everyone else. Everyone's saying oh, it's purely because of the fact that the Call of Duty franchise is now starting to become exhausting. You know, they've run out of ideas, blah, 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 blah. You know, things like that. But I remember back when Black Ops 2 trailer was released and everybody didn't like that. Obviously, nowhere near as much as the Infinite Warfare trailer. But when Black Ops 2 was released, I believe it became one of the best-selling Call of Duties around. So, I take pretty much nothing in... To the fact that there's a lot of dislike for the infinite warfare trailer purely, purely i believe the amount of dislikes are purely because of the fact that activision are bundling modern warfare remastered with infinite warfare and that's the only way you can get the remastered and modern warfare is to buy infinite warfare but i'm looking at the pre-order numbers completely differently from everyone else and i'm actually looking at it thinking are people starting to realise that you don't have to pre-order a game? You know, is this pre-order culture slowly dwindling out? Which, I'm going to be honest, I'm kind of happy that I'm seeing something like this. Because you don't have to pre-order a game at all. You can just wait for the game to be released. Because normally, I remember back in the earlier days where you did pre-order a game just because, you know, on release day, the chances are the game would be sold out. That's not the case now. Most people are doing pre-orders because some companies will lock certain aspects of their game behind the pre-order paywall. I'll give a couple of examples now. Metro Last Light. If you pre-ordered that, uh, brilliant game, by the way. I, I assure you, you would like it. I recommend that. Brilliant. Um, but behind the... If you pre-ordered, you would get Ranger Mode, which is the toughest difficulty for a Metro game. And they hid that behind the pre-order, and if you didn't pre-order, you had to pay money in order to unlock it. Same for pretty much Mortal Kombat X or Mortal Kombat 10. They unlocked, they had, uh, they had Goro locked behind the pre-order, in saying if you pre-ordered, you get a player's Goro. If not, you had to pay in order to use Goro in the game. So I'm kind of, and don't get me started with the new Deus Ex, the way they tried to do pre-orders, God, that was terrible. But I'd like to think, that's why I'm looking at, looking at it as, I'm hoping that pre-order culture is slowly dwindling away. People seeing that you don't have to pre-order a game, you can just wait till the game's released, go down, pick it up. Or do it online and see, and get it that way. You don't necessarily have to pre-order a game now because you know the game's not going to get sold out unless they do something really drastic as in lock some big part of the game behind a pre-order paywall which is bullshit in it in itself but only again only time will tell i'm pretty sure this infinite warfare game from activision will still sell decently well um but take nothing into the pre-orders at the moment i pure i'm purely seeing it as the fact that people are not pre-ordering anymore. But what do you guys think about it? Do you think this Infinite Warfare, this Call of Duty Infinite Warfare will sell well? Or do you think, uh, you know, do you think it could be the slow demise of pre-orders? Or do you think that Activision have pissed off so many fans that people are just refusing to get the game? Let me know what you think. This is Jamesy Boy logging off. You take care.